What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in Atlanta at Ama Minier with Little Baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The city got every influence on me. I mean, that's all I know. I stayed in Atlanta, Georgia, 23 years. Gonna do some sneaker shopping tonight. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. Yeah, definitely. Let's go. Little baby, I saw a video of you, I think the source, and you were shopping. I think it was Balmain and all these other places, and they asked you what your favorite brand was. You said Reebok. What's it like to be aligned with a brand that has had so much history? Ain't definitely my pleasure, like, definitely. The whole situation, the whole partnership I got with Reebok, like, I follow Reebok, definitely. You know, you wore this Reebok workout plus altered in the campaign. Definitely. And then in a month, though, you have a big campaign, the Soul Fury. Exactly. What's it like to be in a nationwide campaign at such a young age? It's overwhelming, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. It's lit, though. You know what yeah. I'm that shit lit, definitely. Another thing I saw is that you bring in boxes back to the community. I always give back to my community. So it's like a regular day for us. Like, but it was cool that it was Reebok and they actually send us some to give away. That's awesome, you know what I'm saying? It's always cool to get shoes whenever you want, like any brand. They had to do so much for shoes growing up. Now I can get a couple pair for free, like, that's great. Well, baby, you grew up a block from the West End Mall yeah. in Atlanta. What was it like coming up and shopping when you were younger? I never really didn't know shopping when I was younger. You no, know, you would hustle up on a few dollars to get you a pair of shoes, but as far as like shopping, man, I ain't never really shopping growing up. Every now and then, a pair of shoes here and there. I read that you went back uh, to like show off a car you had. Can you even go shopping now without getting like mobbed by all your fans? Nah, no, not really, because like I be going a lot of places by myself. Like I kind of know how to handle it. Sometimes it get overwhelming, but sometimes I just, you know, I ain't in the mood to take no pictures on. I apologize or whatever, you know, nothing disrespectful, but for the most part, it'd be cool. And now Jordans, are you like a classic Jordan guy, or do you like some of the, you know, the 18s we have here? I like a, I like a classic Jordan guy, but then I'm an exclusive Jordan guy too, like them, you know? Yeah. Like I fuck with them, I ain't never seen them. I'm gonna get both of them. I ain't really been wearing no techno Jordans like that. Like Travis Scott colorways, I fuck yeah. with them. And you went to high school with Thug. Were you guys always fresh? Like Thug, he already had the swag that he got now. You know what I'm saying? But like, just fresh. Nobody ain't really just been fresh, fresh. I ain't never been one of the ones just like fresh. But I always keep a clean pair of shoes and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. I just like fresh, though. You said back in the day that you don't pack luggage, that you just shop in any city. Sure. Is it still like that? Definitely. More than, more and more now. You know, you were just on tour. What cities are your favorite to shop in? Like, it'd be, surprisingly, it'd be like off-brand cities. they be having the real stuff of my size, like anything you want, like kind of exclusive shit. Yeah. Like little Boston or really? little, little off-brand little states and shit. They be having it. But like the main cities, of course, they ain't gonna too tough to have nothing because everybody go there. So it's still no luggage. You show up, you you cop a lot. and then... Every now and then, I take an outfit though. Like, I just take one outfit, but I don't really like suitcases and stuff. I want to talk about your love of like high fashion footwear, Gucci, Balenciaga. Are you kind of- See, I don't got a love for that. I no? don't got a, like, I just do it. Like, I don't got a passion for it. I just do it. I can, so, you know, just buy me some. So it's not that you don't really study up. You go to a store, if you like it, you buy it. Exactly. I'm okay. on that tip. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really just like searching for nothing and waiting on it and dip. You know, when I get them, I get them. And I, and I pay a little more if I want them, but I ain't just like, on it like that. But I like what I like though. I go hard, like the Jordans I like, I buy all of them. Right. But I just don't got a passion for them. Makes sense. And you know, now Amiri, Jeans, what other are some of your favorite brands? I don't even really got no favorite brands, but like Amiri Jeans, definitely right now, like t-shirts, different design t-shirts. I'm really just, you know, but to me, what matters like the cut. Cut of my shirt, my shirt fit right, my pants. I don't like oversized clothes either. Everybody making everything kind of oversized now. Yeah. So I'm kind of trying to figure out what I'm gonna do because I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't feeling the baggy swag. I hear you. And you know, coming up in Atlanta, so many legends. We just had T.I. on the show, we had Gucci on the show. You know, Atlanta kind of has set the tone now, generation to generation. We'll talk about the city and their influence on everything. City got every influence on me. I mean, that's all I know. I stayed in Atlanta, Georgia, 23 years. Shit, I'm the city. You know what I'm saying? That's all I know. Would you describe your style as loud? Like you like the paint more jealous and the sparkly, or it depends what kind of day? I'm, I'm kind of more like, you know, low key, but everything kind of new. You know what I'm saying? It don't, it don't matter if it's loud or bright, I ain't really got white or black. As long as it's new and it's clean, I can vibe. You know what I'm saying? I'm with it. One person I want to talk about, your son, always laced in good sneakers, Jason. Jason got a lot of clothes shoes I don't even wear though. Really? I won't be going nowhere. But once he get a little bit older, 
and he gonna go hard though. And his sneaker collection is crazy already, right? And like, you know, I just buy like every pair of shoes in his size when we go to the mall. Mm -hmm. Whatever size he, he grow, his feet grow every month. I just buy him every pair. Then, they don't be having a lot of designers shoes for him yet. He got like Gucci shoes, couple pair of Burberry, little Yeezys, but not just like everything though. A little bit see I'm, he, he, I'm gonna get it together. Okay. <laughs> get it together. I watched the Preacher Man doc. One thing I really liked is you are encouraging your crew to grind. Exactly. But you also said, I'm gonna pay for them no matter what. Exactly. But you are encouraging them to work hard. How important is it for you and your crew, everyone to be good? Like, it's like most important to me because it's like, I'm just as no good as them if I'm the only one that's good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So then I don't even want people around me going on the right track or doing what they're supposed to do or trying to better themselves. You know what I'm saying? Especially if I'm better than myself. Yeah. I'm gonna go down, it's gonna be because of me, not nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Definitely. But now the shopping, you're treating them, right? Right, definitely. I always treat them, but I'd rather treat them when they got when they could treat themselves. It's, it's kind of like backwards, but I buy them stuff when they run when they get money. And when they don't be having no money, I don't buy them because I feel like they don't deserve nothing. You can't keep money in your pocket. You don't need to be fresh. Well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Get the browser shell, see what you're gonna leave with. I, I know what I'm already gonna leave with. I've been browsing. Alright. Going with the Jordan setup. I'm gonna go with these. I'm gonna throw back my fucking beam off for the heart. I need them. Um, these, all these drip. I don't never wear them, but I need them. And these motherfuckers drip that too. And let me get these in the nine too. These motherfuckers drip. I ain't got these. Well, uh, your total's gonna be 30, 40, 20. $3,040. Bagging these joints. That's right. All right. So, little baby came through. Bought a bunch of sneakers. Make sure everyone checks out Drip Harder. Available everywhere right now. Yeah, drip too hard. I'm standing too close. You don't fuck around and drown. It's way. Appreciate you, buddy. Couple more shoes for the collection. I probably never wear. Fuck it. Fuck it. What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. Don't miss ComplexCon November 3rd and November 4th in Long Beach, California. Music performances, one-of-a-kind drops, and engaging panels. Make sure you get your tickets, ComplexCon.com, right now.